Pat Brown is a criminal profiler and author of The Profiler, My Life Hunting Serial Killers and Psychopaths. Savannah Guthrie is today's legal correspondent. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning, Meredith. Savannah, if I can start with you, as was just mentioned, as Carrie mentioned, the prosecution is now in the scientific phase of its case. How important was the testimony regarding that hair found in the trunk? It's incredibly important because, of course, for the last few weeks, we've been hearing these witnesses talk about the lies that Kaylee, uh, Casey Anthony told her behavior. But the bottom line is we haven't yet seen scientific evidence that ties Casey Anthony to this crime scene. This single piece of hair, if the prosecution expert is believed, shows that Casey, Kaylee Anthony's body was in the trunk of the car after death, but there are some problems with the science, as the defense pointed out. Exactly, and she admitted that she, she can't say for cert with certainty that that is, in fact, a hair from Kaylee. Not only can she not say with certainty if it's Kaylee's hair, she can't really say with 100% certainty whether or not this is a hair that fell off the body after death, and that's a crucial fact. Also, this testimony that the prosecution is expected to present uh, this week about the stench of death, what they say is the odor of Kaylee Anthony's um, decomposed body in the trunk of her mother's car. They have admitted that they have never collected air samples before. Uh, they're not trained to do so. So is this a risky piece of evidence to present to a jury? I think it's very risky. I mean, obviously, if it works, this would be a profound piece of evidence for the jurors. On the other hand, the prosecutors already have lots of testimony from varying witnesses about that powerful, foul odor that was inside the trunk of the car. They say it was unmistakably human decomposition. So to use this novel science, something that potentially, if there were a conviction, could be the basis of being overturned on appeal, I'm not sure why the prosecutors want to go that far. Yeah. Pat, Prior to this trial, Casey had um, said repeatedly um, that her daughter was kidnapped. Then you have that opening argument from the defense that said, no, actually, she wasn't kidnapped. She drowned in the family pool, and Casey's father helped to cover it up. And in fact, Casey was molested by her father, George, as a child. What do you make of that defense strategy? Well, I think it's a very stupid defense strategy, and we thank you, Jose Bias. I mean, what he's basically done is admitted that that child died in the home, so we can already get that one out of the way. And now we've got all this physical testimony coming in about, you know, I think it's pretty good, actually, because what we're doing is showing that not only did that child die in the home, but that in case he's running around with a car with her dead dead child in the back of it. So they, they set up, the prosecution set up a good thing. They they showed her as a really cold-blooded psychopath for their last week. I mean, I think anybody sitting there is going, wow, you know, uh, that's a scary woman. And Jose Bias made a st another stupid move by throwing the Anthony's under the bus. I mean, there's only three people, I think, in the world that believe in Casey, and he just, he just tossed him out. So, I mean, now there's nobody. So I think the jury is already looking at her as somebody who's capable of killing, and now the physical evidence is showing that, you know, she's been, you know, she's the one who had the body with her. Do you think the defense will have to put Casey on the stand? Well, I think they're kind of up against the wall right now. There's really not much left they can do. So I think they actually might take the chance of putting her on the stand, hoping, because they have a little bit of interesting thing going on with Cindy Anthony. Cindy Anthony was not well-liked until Cindy Anthony took the stand. And now there are actually people out there saying, we really feel sorry for Cindy. Now, I guess they might be hoping Casey can pull off the same thing, put her on the stand, have her start sobbing and crying and looking pitiful, and maybe just one person on the jury will say, that's just one messed up girl. Maybe she really didn't kill a daughter on purpose. Yeah. I think that's what the defense is going to hope for. All right, Pat Brown, Savannah Guthrie, thank you both. Thanks, Meredith. And now let's get a check of the weather for now.